give you a better idea of the distinction between the distributive and integrative approaches to negotiation, I wanted to tell you a little bit of a story. So let's imagine that you live in a world where for some reason there's a massive shortage of oranges and you're sitting at home and find yourself really hanging out for a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice one day. So you decide to try your luck and you head to the supermarket just on the off chance that there might be an orange left in the fruit section. You walk in the door, look over to the corner where the tray of oranges usually sit and what do you happen to see? but one gleaming orange sitting there left in the tray. You quickly run over to the tray and reach out your hand to grab it, but just as you do that, someone else does the same thing. Now you're in a bit of a pickle. It's clear that both of you really, really want this orange, so you begin negotiating. Now let's imagine first that you adopt a distributive approach to this negotiation, which is assuming basically that this is a competitive situation with a fixed amount of the orange for both of you, and your aim is to get as much for yourself as you possibly can. So you start off by saying to the negotiation partner, look, I've been hanging out for a glass of orange juice for months. I'll take 70% of this orange and pay 70% of the price. They say, no, 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 I really, really badly want this orange, so how about I pay 60% of the price and take 60% of the orange. This goes back and forth for a while with each of you competing for the best deal until you eventually settle on a 50-50 split. Each of you pays 50% of the price of the orange and gets half of the orange each. And then you go back to your house and you have your half a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice and it's reasonably satisfying, not too bad an outcome. But let's rewind and imagine instead that you adopt an integrative approach to negotiation. Remember that one of the key aspects of an integrative approach to negotiation is the assumption that the parties who are involved in the negotiation can actually have compatible interests. Both of you can walk away with the thing that you want and achieve a win-win result. So let's imagine if at the beginning of this negotiation, both of you just ask a simple question of each other. What is your interest here? Not your position, because we know that the initial position is that both of you want the orange, but what is your interest? What do you actually want to do with this orange and achieve with it? And you say, well, I want this orange so I can use the flesh to make a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice. And your partner says, well, I have no interest in the flesh. I actually just want to use the rind, the skin of the orange, to make orange muffins. This exchange of information between the two of you at the beginning of the negotiation drastically changes the potential solutions. It's pretty clear that what you can do now is each still pay 50-50 for the orange, which is the same as the result under the distributive approach. But instead of walking away with 50% of the flesh, you can walk away with 100% of it and make a much larger glass of orange juice. Similarly, your negotiation partner can get all of the skin and rind of the orange, not just half of it, and make many more orange muffins. This is a really, really basic example, but it's helpful in illustrating the point that an integrative approach to negotiation can often result in vastly superior negotiation outcomes. With its emphasis on assuming that win-win results are possible and inquiring and understanding your partner's interests, not just their initial position, the integrative approach gives us a better chance of arriving at negotiation outcomes and making joint decisions that have an overall higher benefit for everyone involved.